The World Health Organization estimates that 1.5 million people die from traumatic hemorrhage every single year. The publishers of the CRASH-2 study estimate that by using TXA, we could save 100,000 plus worldwide. Let's talk a little bit more about TXA and learn how it works. Because of its massive potential to save lives, TXA has been the subject of a lot of research recently. The authors in this GEMS article break down that research and make a great case for pre-hospital use of TXA. Let's talk about how TXA actually works. So there's a protein floating around our bloodstream. It's called fibrinogen. It's not activated, it's not doing anything, it's just floating around our bloodstream. When we start to bleed, thrombin is activated, and it converts that fibrinogen into something called fibrin. And as you can see by the spider web behind it, that's kind of what the structure of fibrin actually is. It's the, the structure where all the bugs get caught and it forms that clot, okay? So it looks like this under a microscope. So we see our red blood cells, we see platelets, and they're all getting caught in this structure, the fibrin structure. It's oftentimes referred to as a lattice structure. Just that cross-hatched wood lattice reminded somebody of this. All right, so another protein we need to talk about is plasminogen. Plasminogen is a glycoprotein that's, again, free-floating in our bloodstream. When the body starts to bleed, the epithelial cells inside of our blood vessels recognize that we're bleeding. They activate something called TPA. That's tissue plasminogen activator. They activate and convert that plasminogen into plasmin. That plasmin, I like to refer to as an attack dog. It's there to attack and break down those clots. It's a process called endogenous fibrinolysis. Endogenous means it's something that's naturally occurring inside of your body. It's not affected by anything outside your body. It's all internal. It's an internal system. Fibrin, we just talked about. And then lysis is the breakdown of something. So fibrin lysis, it's the breakdown of that lattice structure that we were just talking about. So the entire job of this is to create clots that are not getting out of control and forming DVTs and PEs, CVAs, etc. right? We don't want massive thrombus, all right? So that plasmin, just like this dog's tearing a pillow apart, tears that fibrin apart, and then it continues to clot on top of that, okay? Now, in massive trauma, sometimes we get hyperfibrinolysis, and hyperfibrinolysis creates an uncontrolled breakdown of those clots that we're trying to form in that massive hemorrhage. So the medication we need to use, it's called an antifibrinolytic, all right? It's a medication that stops that fibrinolysis. That's what it's designed for. Transexemic acid is that medication. Just like you can see the dog trainer stopping this plasmin right here, this puppy, it stops that plasmin from attaching to that fibrin so it can't get to those pillows, right, to that fibrin, and it can't tear that apart, right? So TXA's entire job is to prevent the breakdown of existing clots. It doesn't cause more clots. It prevents the breakdown of existing clots. So now that you understand how TXA actually works, be sure to read this article and, and get a good understanding as to why we in the pre-hospital setting should be using TXA. If you enjoyed this content and you want more, be sure to like and subscribe and join us for future videos.